Alright. Ah, oh, great. Come on. Oh, come on. What, what's this Something's thing? blocking it. This is more complicated than it looks. When I moved that first wall, I opened one passage, but I blocked another. Uh. Okay, come yeah, on. Slide open. It's the green one. <coughs> All right. Oh, come on. What's fucking now? It yeah, won't slide open. God, this thing is a jackass. Eh? Oh, wait. Uh, let me guess. It, it's the one on top, isn't it? Pause. I bet I can get all the way down to the other side of the glass house now. Finally. Oh, there he is. There they are. <laughs> wait, wait, how can you do that without the. You gotta be kidding me. Great. <sighs> Damn it. Quick, quick, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, that's. Bit uh, I hate this, man. Now to walk back over here. What are you doing? Something's blocking it. Come on, red. It won't slide open. Yeah, it's the red one. This is the longest I ever have ever been in this area. <sighs> finally, now I can finally. Look at the diving guy. Look, look at the toe. Look, look. Did you see? Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. Hey, just left about a minute ago. If you hurry, you might. He does realize I'm not stupid that I can recognize his voice, right? Take, Take off, off your, your helmet. helmet. Come I on. I prefer to leave it on. And the inland air is difficult on my side of hmm. hmm. I know who you are, no, Doc. You're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology. But I fail to understand what you are. Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with Stop! him? Help! I feel attacked! Michael! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors! You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boy's obviously uh, confusing. I'll say he is. The one I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jacques Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. 
No, it's not. It's... Please, keep it down. The Expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duto. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. Uh, if you make another scene it, like Doc? that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. Okay. All right, then. He's on. He's in the diving belt. Professor Duto, huh? At your service. Hmm. Who's the real Duto? The real Professor Duto. <coughs> I'm uh, not sure I like your insinuations. I'm not sure. I, <laughs> I'm not sure I like you kidnapping Emmett. Exactly. Perhaps I should call the authorities and have you removed from the hall. You're a cold-blooded guy, Duto. Say la vie. What did you do with Emmett? Where did you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! <laughs> So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not going to get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, que sera, sera. I don't think that's for mm -hmm. all. Next up on our roster, a man who saw the possibilities in Pond Scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot. Thanks, Trixie. Uh, uh, technique. So first... No, no, stop, stop it. I don't even like algae cakes, but free samples are free samples. I haven't seen you eat one yet, Monty, so why are you lying? Okay, then I guess I'll, all right, then, then I guess I'll have a ticket trip in the baths here. Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. Come on. I don't think so. Um, you ha um, I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's a, uh, uh, <coughs> Oh, oh, give me a break. Come on. I don't think so. Hey, Artie, what do you think? Quite a setup, huh? The expo? Sure. But I was wondering. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure. That's a pee ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm. There must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Professor Duto, this young man claims you refused to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Please, uh, climb the ladder, and I will raise the bath to see you. Uh. Mon Dieu, what is the matter? The gears, uh, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot... Oh, really, huh? Atmosphere at this oh, moment. really? Really? What a shame. Yes, it is, it is, it is. Well, I will work on the problem. Perhaps if you come back later. Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very interesting. Huh. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon. Calm down, please. The bathosphere exhibit is coming. No, I'll, I'll wait here. Don't worry. I'll wait. <coughs> yeah. Step back! You're cripping the hose! Okay. What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? Come on, Doc! Oh, sorry. Hey! Drop the Maybe act! Drop the act now, Jacques Duto, aka Carl Sagan, aka. No! Raise I'm the just bathosphere. Keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. I wish you wouldn't. Why not? There's nobody in the bathosphere, yeah. right? I know Emmett's in there, Doc. Emmett gets nowhere until you raise the bathosphere. Come on, Doc. Emmett? Who? Emmett Brown! You. you know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. It's an old nautical superstition. A crimp horse needs. If you do, 
It does if there's somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you yeah. said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. So... There's... not... Can't you see he's messing Come on, with Arnie, nothing you know so he's up with this guy. Monsieur Duteau is doing his best to fix the exhibit. Hovering over him like that doesn't help the situation any. I command you untrink that hose! I'll fix- You'd think it was you who was running out of air, not the guy in the bathosphere. Come on, I, Doc! I don't know <coughs> what you're talking about! It's as if you Come two on, Doc! You're running somehow. out of air! Step off the hose! Raise the bathosphere, Doc. I won't do it! Then neither will I. Come on, Doc. So long. The years that they have become unstuck. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. See, see, look at that. Oh, Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Hey, you. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. Oh, that's his piece of two reference. His wallet. Oh, remind me not to become an oceanographer. <coughs> I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before. Funny thing is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. It was all very rush-rush. I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where'd he go? You know? Carl Sagan? He uh. had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No. Oh. I know how that oh is. Oh my god, man. What's this? Oh, yeah. Edna made Detective Parker shut down your booth. He uh, says he can't go against her. Oh, yeah? Unless we dig up some dirt that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. I don't care why Edna so thinks... So that's what we'll do. Why Edna thinks that... The next exhibitor on our list is Officer Danny Parker of the Hill Valley Police Force. Officer Parker is going to demonstrate a few of the many marvelous tools that our boys in blue will soon have at their disposal. The criminal element has truly met his match today. Officer Parker? Uh, Peace. it seems our next exhibitor is unavoidably detained, but I'm sure his presentation would have been both enlightening and exciting. Um, how about a round of applause just for the heck of it? Yeah. <coughs> oh, great. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta hurry, gotta hurry. <coughs> okay, call me a snoop. All right, now to head to the House of Future. I think I think it was called. So, welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push of a button away. Red button. Wax. Oh, come on, I don't have time for this. Green mine. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Hey! Please recite the phone number you wish to dial or say hang up to terminate your phone helmet experience. Contact four two five three. 
Expo, where the future is coming today. This is Techni News of Progress. To whom am I speaking? Carl this Sagan. Is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Mr. Sagan. What do you want? Edna. Can you put Edna Strickland on the phone for me? Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Strickland! Somebody actually wants to talk to you. Mr. Sagan? What happened? I thought you were distracting Emmett. Was? Oh, yes, of course I was. Then why is Emmett standing here, valiantly uh, trying to convince uh, Detective Parker that he should be allowed to go through with this ever-so-dangerous display of wrong-headed technology? What can I say? I was outsmarted by that wily Yakov Smirnov. Well, that puts a crimp in our plan. Yes, yes, our plan. Uh, About that plan. Your dark secret. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that! As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? Uh, uh, pin what on him, exactly? You know, it! Oh, I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh... That was the dog's fault. If he hadn't come galumping up to me right after I started the fire, I oh. could have gotten clean oh. away. <coughs> and I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. She's the speakeasy arsonist. Carl, is somebody with you? No, it's just you and me. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their doors serving illegal drinks and loose women, flaunting their depravity to the world, and the authorities did nothing. So I did what any right-thinking, rock-willed woman would do. I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. She's crazy. The alcohol uh, made them go uh. up in such pretty blue flames. Uh, where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? Yes. It was very uh. revealing. Hang up. What? Conversation terminated. Jeez. <coughs> I was always a loon. I hope that confession's good enough for Parker. Gosh, she's crazy. Hiya, folks. Uh. It's me, Techni, News of Progress. Gracing you once again with my presence. And speaking of presents, what better gift could Hill Valley offer the world than this magnificent science and technology exhibit? Hey, folks. If you haven't done so already, I urge each and every one of you to take a peek at furnishings of the future. Right here in our main hall. Tickets are available from me, Techni, at our information desk. Eat. Great, Emma Brown, sorry, right, Emma Smith. Alright, 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 alright. Now, now you get the plant, give the Parker, and then she'll be exposed. Wait, give me the, give me the plant, give me the plant. Uh. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that answer. Hey, Danny. Do uh, you mind, uh, comrade? I'm busy trying to keep Emmett from letting you lead him into the biggest mistake of his life. Mistake? My biggest mistake was... This will only take a minute. Our plant recorder. It's not a good idea to steal police property, you know. Shh, listen. Uh, you know, uh, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else oh, would do anything about them. Oh, exposed. You're the arsonist? D Detective Parker. Surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured uh, forgery of a recording. I'm not sure what to believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured forgery, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy fires. Emmett? You're on Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're on your own. Oh, very well. I... Heavens, what's that? You know... One of these days, I should really stop falling for that. Exactly. Not to sound callous, but does uh, this mean I can demonstrate my invention? Let's well, yeah. take that as a yes. 
Greetings and salutations to all <coughs> our honored guests. I am Techni, Muse of Progress, and it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. But are you ready? No, I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static accumulator? Oh, right. Here you go. Great. Oh. Come on, let's get up there. Ha. <sighs> And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? That ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings. Block bearings. Raised position. Check. Then it looks like all systems are gold. <coughs> Wish me luck. <coughs> Don't have to. Guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Emmett Brown! Objection! Oh. Objection, Your Honor! I hereby demand that the he done the fierce demonstration right of one Emmett Lethra Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of insanity! I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father! Where is he? Hand him over this instant! Uh. Should have done the objection, like objection, bro. Like you feel right. Like you feel right. Don't give me away. Don't leave that boy. I'm not scared of your father anymore. When he's in a mood like uh, this, I'd have to be suicidal not to be scared. Tell me where to go. go. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Shoot me down with an anti-aircraft gun? <laughs> I don't think he has one right now. You look silly Come on, now. Damn it, you can't miss your big moment. You don't look very dignified crouching down there, you know. Better uh, undignified than dead. Uh, well, let me talk to him. God, look, let me. <clears throat> you <clears throat> don't think you can shelter him? Be reasonable, dude. Yeah, you. Be Maybe Emmett would come out from wherever it is he's hiding if you tried the reasonable approach. Come on. This is the reasonable approach. Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything. Uh. So he is up there with you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Son, I order you to come down from there this second. Fear. Emmett. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Hi, right, uh, it's the bullet. Go deal with him. What have you got to lose? That's what uh, they said to Custer. Uh, so, what's your plan? I just stand here like this indefinitely. After a few centuries, the process of petrification will set in, and that'll be that. Okay, that is a plan. Uh, he's got Maybe to give, give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge, after all. Yes, a judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. You dear. I uh, want to speak to my son. Uh, Emmett's not ready to talk to you uh, directly. I suppose you're his mouthpiece. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Spice me up. Talk him out of uh, it. His mind is made up. So, uh, if talking won't uh, work, there's uh, always threshing. You're intimidating. If I can say so, sir, the problem is, is you're coming on too strong. You intimidate him. I don't intimidate him uh, enough. That's the problem. He says he won't listen. He says it's no use uh, talking to you. You never listen? That only shows how pig-headed he is. Of course I listen. If he can justify his craziness, I'll be only too happy to indulge it. Stay right there. I'm not going anywhere. I don't think the fool- Emmett, I'm uh, not talking to him. There's no point. See, you heard he say he said he'll to listen you. to you. Well, at least give it a shot. Uh. <coughs> Father, son, you've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. 
You don't know what it's like to be young. You don't know what it's like to have dreams, to have ambitions so great and so powerful that they've got a life of their own. And it's all you can do to hang on for dear life while they gallop on where they must. This is America, Pop. And in America, a person doesn't have to do what his father did. Isn't that why you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? God, great. Well, we talked. Are you uh, happy? Not.